I would like to begin by acknowledging that the museum is situated on in Le Lenape Hoking, and that we respectfully honor all indigenous communities, past, present, and future, for their ongoing and fundamental relationship to the region. Grounded in clay in that context marks an important first in our institution's history. It's a community curated Native American exhibition that amplifies the stories, the histories, and also the traditions of 21 tribal communities and sovereign nations. So it's been a great way to work together with the Pueblo Pottery Initiative to make that happen. To include these voices, to have these voices resonate and all the relationships, all the work that kind of comes with it. These galleries feature more than 100 historical, modern, as well as, well as contemporary clay works dating from the 11th century to the present day. They offer a critical understanding of Pueblo Pottery which is, a, of course, a community-based knowledge, drive, driven, and personal experience. Grounded in Clay gives voice to the Pueblo Pottery Collective, a group of more than 60 individual members of 21 tribal communities, who organize this exhibition together. It's an exhibition that is larger, of course, also than just this, these galleries. It spans two venues. Works on view both here in the Met's American Wing, as well as in the galleries of the Wilczek Foundation, which is just a short walk away on 70th Street and Madison Avenue. So as we continue this vital work to increase our ability to share indigenous experiences and perspectives through the Met's collection, through the exhibitions, and through special programming, Grounded in Play is an important Really, it is an important milestone. It offers visitors an opportunity to appreciate one of the America's oldest indigenous creative expressions and an art form that's truly devoted to land and to place. This exhibition features distinctive pots from Pueblo Pottery Collections and at the Indian Arts Research Center of the School for Advanced Research in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and the Wilczek Foundation in New York. We here at the Met, they are also newly commissioned, so that there was eye-catching contemporary works at the end of the gallery from four artists, including Matteo Romero, who is here, sorry, here, Matteo, and Michael Aminga, um, who, uh, who are here this morning, uh, together with us. Yeah, Michael is here as well. Yeah, here you are. Um, um, the Met's presentation of Ground and Clay has been sensitively organized by Patricia Markham Norby, our uh, Associate Curator of Native American Art at the American Wing. You will hear from Patricia uh, shortly. Uh, and she's, of course, really the driving force among a lot of these initiatives that you see here happening and that you see uh, only amplify the work uh, the American Wing is doing in that context, but really also how the museum ex is expanding and is also uh, in close dialogue uh, with indigenous communities in many different ways. We are honored to have collaborated with the committed staff of the Indian Arts Research Center uh, and also of the Wilczek Foundation. I'd like to extend a special welcome to Michael F. Brown, the president of the School for Advanced Research, that's here, Michael, and Rick Kinzel, the president of the Wilczek Foundation, um, who are here, both of us. Um, I saw Rick somewhere. Uh, now I hear you. Right? Um, um, and we're also going to have a great celebration also at the Wilczek Foundation later this, uh, this, this day. Um, I also want to welcome Emily Schuchert Navratil, the curator of the, at the Wilczek Foundation, and thank you really all for your partnership and the, for, for making this ambitious endeavor happen. We also want, I also want to really recognize also the MAD staff who have supported this project um, from the start. I mean, they are an incredible exhibition team, everybody who's worked on making this possible, especially, of, of course, also the team at of the American Wing, and uh, especially Sylvia Young, the Lawrence E. Fleischmann, curate in charge of the American Wing. Um, it was obviously done together with our colleagues at the School for Advanced Research and the Wiltshire Foundation. For the important financial support which made this project possible, we'd like to recognize the METS Fund for the Rice Art Histories, as well as generous gifts from Mr. and Mrs. Joseph 
S. Hughes, Anne Valerie and John W. Rowe. I hope you will all enjoy this magnificent exhibition and I encourage you to engage with these deeply personal narratives that we actually have put forward that really speak so much about the connection that these uh, objects still kind of manifest towards the past, to the present, and how they project in the future. And with that, I want to turn it over to Michael Brown. So if you will. Thank you.